Hi, we're here. Um, this is the fourth year since our ban from uh, the Richmond Mayfair uh, ban because the organisers didn't think it was appropriate to have an organisation telling the residents the truth about Israel. So since then we've had a stall here on the edge of the fair. We'll keep doing that year on, year on to make sure uh, that there is a voice for the Palestinian people here on Richmond Green. Well, I'm here today to support the stall which is representing the Palestine Solidarity Campaign. It's terribly important, especially with so many other issues buzzing around in people's heads nowadays, to keep this issue alive. Because the injustice to the Palestinians out in the Middle East, committed by Israel and their Western government backers, that injustice lies at the very root cause of all the troubles in the Middle East that we're now having to deal with. And so we must make people understand this and we must support the Palestinian cause. You don't live lucky though, do you? Oh, I was going to say this area is just too expensive for anybody to live. Well, hi, it's John Altman. Once again here at the Richmond Fair, supporting the Palestinian Solidarity Campaign. Um, many big news items have taken place recently in, in the world. Well, Syria always dominates it, of course, and uh, the Yemen, but there on the Gaza Strip and in Palestine, people are being murdered every week by the Israeli armed forces. Um, houses are being bulldozed, their land is being stolen as we speak, and unfortunately, Benjamin Netanyahu is once again in power and he's just gone with the far right. So it doesn't look good for the situation down there. I pray that this year somebody somewhere in government, I don't know if Cameron will, he seemed to ignore the last um, mass murder of uh, Palestinian people altogether. Uh, I remember Miliband spoke up about it. But let's hope somebody somewhere in the world really does do something about the situation down there. I hear that recently, at long last, some building materials were let in to the devastated area. Thousands of people homeless, thousands of people suffering malnutrition and hypothermia last winter. None of it gets in the papers, of course, but uh, if you go deeper into the news, you'll see what the situation is like down there. It's hell on earth, especially on the Gaza Strip. So, please, open people's eyes to the situation. Let's see a change this year in Gaza and Palestine. Give those people their freedom. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to be in the green and I hope that the Palestinian stand will be in the green next year. Uh, we all human, we help each other and I am not uh, really opposing to live with uh, uh, the Israeli. We are all human, uh, they can stay as long as we have our independent uh, uh, government and we will live uh, side to side with them happy ever after. Thank you. And which part of Palestine are you from? Uh, I'm from Jerusalem. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. de los palestinos no, no, dure, no dure mucho más, ha sido ya suficiente los años que vienen padeciendo y lo que están sufriendo en todos los campos de refugiados por todo el mundo y en ese trozo de tierra hay espacio para cualquiera pero no para los palestinos. <risa> Yeah, they're around I tell you, son, it'll be all right And we'll see the 
good whiskey for Saturday night.